Ifosha Road is one of the oldest and most strategic roads in the Chibu Local Council Development Area. To boost commercial activities and ease mobility in this area, the council leadership embarked on the construction of the road. The ongoing project was inspected by council executives, community stakeholders and residents. The council engineer, Bankwale Latunde, said the 150 meters road will be very durable as it gave an insight on construction process. This road is in two sections. One is the asphalt section. That's what we have started now. The length of the asphalt is 510 meters by 14.85 meters. While the interlocking section towards the end is, four, is 440 meters by 15 meters. Total is 950 meters, almost a kilometer. As you all know, this road belongs to the state government. But the local, the local government chairman deem it fit to do it since the state has they have made many assurances that promised that they will do it. And chairman being the son of the soil, they are taking the upon himself to. The council chairman, Monsieur Bello, said the intervention was imperative because of the multifaceted access the road provides for users. Let me first uh, give thanks to God Almighty for this far that we have gone. Uh, on this road. This road is called Ifoshi Road. Uh, it wasn't as if the members of this community has a special preference in our government, but because of the traffic impact of this very, very road. This is the major entry point to the community. This is one of the longest roads that is serving, you know, the entire community People far and wide, uh, Alimosho, uh, Ojo, even up to Badagri, you know, try to connect island and the mainland, navigate their major, I mean, their, 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 tra their traveling through this Ifoshi road. So it's been a very important road. Um, and I know that the local government, because of the love that we have for the community, because of our commitment and, uh, and to also promote the programs of our uh, dear governors, we decided to move into Ifoshi Road. We all know it is much bigger than our capacity, much longer a kilometer length of road with an average width of about 25 meters. So it is very obvious that it is beyond our local government. But looking at the importance of this road, we have no option than to take up the rehabilitations, to improve the economic of this area and to improve the well-being of our people, particularly the members of the parks and garages who operate daily on this road. The Maruas, the Korokbe and the yellow buses ply this road, taking passengers from Iyanejigbo to Ilewe to Idimu. And by the time you put all of this Importances together, you will know that we have taken a very, very worthy decision. He enjoined residents to stick to prompt payment of taxes and levies to enjoy sustained dividends of democracy. So, the revenue generation is the key to government uh, sustenance. We need to appeal to them once again that uh, for us to enjoy more of this, for us to enjoy other roads, particularly the adjoining roads, you know, feeding this particular rules. People should pay their levies and their rates promptly and adequately. This is a government that will not impose you know, fines that is not regulated on you. This is a government that will be moderate in our charges. This is a government that is compliance of all the rates and charges in Lagos as approved by Lagos State as of Assembly. If you find any of our revenue officers behaving otherwise, please let us know. But on the part of the community, they should be able uh, to pay their taxes and rates regularly so that we can continue to deliver more. Residents and stakeholders who decried the former state of the road commended the intervention of the council authorities, attesting to the impact it would have on activities in the community. We've been, man we've been managing it. The road is a little bit bad, but little by little it's coming up. Yes, infrastructure is coming to our town very well now. Yes, after fitting this road, we should use it carefully. Carefully not to spoil it, but I never say any little thing they should be calculated to the chairman so that it won't get spoiled. Because this is our glory. Uh, when I came in, the roads have been in a bad situation. From that time to today, 
They pass uh, government of Lagos states. I don't know whether they abandon us. In fact, many of us felt that they have abandoned us with this road. But thank God for the present administration, the local government chairman and the, the Lagos state governor for remembering this road. I've been here for 22 years. When I came, the road had been in a bad situation. So I want to use the opportunity to commend them for remembering this road. I pray that God will give them more grace and strength to continue to do more good things for the citizen of Lagos State. We are very happy for what we are experiencing and what we are seeing here. This uh, road has been lay, lying low for many years, I'm calling and yelling for the reconstruction. And it's a state road, so it's beyond the capacity and the capability of the local government. But we really appreciate our chairman for taking up the the tax to assist uh, the state government on constructing this, this road. So and on behalf of the Muslim community and all the entire residents of Ejibu, we are saying word of our appreciation to our chairman and we really commend his effort. And we pray that Almighty Allah will support him in everything that he does. You can see I'm laughing. This is what we call answered prayer. When God hands out your prayer, we've been craving for this. We've been praying for this. We've been working on this. And God has uh, eventually answered our prayer. So we look for peace of one another. Uh, we want to say thank you to God Almighty. Thank you to our chairman, the chairman of our local government, Honorable Masuruddin Olode Belu Obe, for uh, bringing this to life. I can bet with you we've been like this. This road has been without attention for close to 40 years that have been around here. So uh, it's not something that you can wave with the back of the hand. This has, has actually opened this community up for more business, for more opportunity, and for more grace for anybody to transact business in and around this place. And, you know, this place is a passage to uh, almost everybody. All the Alimoshos, when you are coming, you want to access the Keja, you want to access the uh, airport route. This is a wonderful place to pass by. So we have no issue. We are grateful to God. We are grateful to our governor. We are grateful to the chairman of the local government for trying to bring this to life. We are so, so happy. Apart from ensuring that this road is properly maintained and looked after, I want to specially commend the effort of uh, uh, the, the unprecedented effort of our chairman. You know, he, he assured us that within a year, this road will be fixed. And we are just in the 11th month of uh, the beginning of this construction. And today we are witnessing a roundoff. So uh, I pray God to continue to rally around him so that all the giant strides he is intending to do before the time is that God will enable him to, to do it. And uh, on our own part, as a community leader, I want to assure him that we will not relent in our effort in supporting him in whatever level he, he, he necessary. So once again, on behalf of the Ajay Wale CDA, uh, uh, my, my, I want to say many big thank you to him and our state governor, who I think will also support him in the task ahead, because we have so many uh, road problems in Ejibu. If the government could support uh, our chairman, he would do a lot before his time expires. This is definitely going to be a great relief for the people of Ejibu, because for years it's been unkept. And with this, I am sure that the residents of Ejibu will be happy with the governance of the day, and of course we will praise the, they will, they will bless the chairman of the local government for this laudable um, project. I want to tell you that it will bring a great succor to the residents and the welcome and um, development. And we want to say thank you to the chairman of the city. It's actually an answered prayer. Prayer that will be actually been, uh, let's just say, prayer that has been answered. Because once you check out what has happened over uh, on this road, the exact issues we've been having are around the Jibo. We've been having issues as regards the road, and the road has been abandoned for over three decades. Now we now have a, a, a working chairman in the person of Honorable Monsoor Dino Lady Belo, who has actually come to our rescue. I'll tell you it's, kind of, it's, 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 it's a bailout, because going by the magnitude of the project, it's not actually a local government project. It's not a, it's not a size uh, of, of a project that the local government should handle. And we now have the local government coming in trying to like really balance things, you know, for the state to an extent. And it goes a long way to really tell us that 
what the local what the local government chairman is doing at the moment is trying to like fortify the effort of the government. He's trying to like make the environment you know habitable for all of us. So all what we need is just like make sure the drainages are being well cleaned because it's the kind of a thing you know it's like the, sanit uh, the, the sanitary aspect of this environment actually matters a lot because by the time we start uh, dropping dungs and the likes in our uh, drainages it goes a long way to actually affect the road back so our sanitary measure that's the advice i'm going to give to people the sanitary measure make sure they patronize the psp operators and they do the the needful i want to advise that uh, governance is a collective responsibility of the community people um, if the chairman is taking the responsibility all alone and the community are not contributing at the end of the day, it's not going to all go well. I, I want to advise that, look at the road project that we saw, that will test, stand the test of time, must also be sub, sub, supported by the activities of people. Like most of the time when it rains, people will go about you know, dumping their refuse in the drains. It is not a proper ideology. They should try to at least show commitments such that their tax paying money will be uh, fruitful. The road once completed, will give the Fashi community an uplifting look. Mm -hmm.